Another difference that JavaScript has with other commonly used languages is that in most languages, variables have a block scope. Whereas in JavaScript, variables have what is called as a function scope. Now, what is the difference between the two? Well, in case of block scope, a variable is accessible within the block of code where it is defined. So in this Java code sample, variable x will be defined within the if block of code because it is declared there. x will not be visible either in the else block or outside the if block of code. But if there were more code blocks within the if block itself, then x will be visible inside those. All right. So this is called block scope. Function scope on the other hand means that a variable declared anywhere within a function is accessible within the whole function. So in this example, we have declared a local variable x inside the if block, but it can also be accessed from the else block or even from outside the complete if else statement. This difference makes us think about what would be the best practice while declaring variables. Well, in case of block scope, we are used to declaring variables at the place of their first use. But in case of function scope, it is better that we declare all the variables used in the function right at the start of the function body. And you will understand why it is a better approach once you understand the global object and how are things tied together in JavaScript, which we'll talk about in a later chapter.